Hello and welcome to What Tourist Second Day of Sicily Travel Vlog. If you didn't see the first day of my Italian vlog, link is right there. This day I want to climb the Etna volcano. It's one of the few active volcano you actually could climb, so I will do that. But before I want to go to famous Catania city fish market that are happily located just around 5 minutes from my hotel. Now it's time to climb some volcanoes. To reach starting point for climbing of Etna volcano, I need to drive about 50 kilometers from Catania city where I am, and I will do that in my 2 euro car that I rent. Climbing Etna Volcano it's not so easy process, it's a mountain after all. First you arrive at parking, leave your car, then you take a cableway and move to the first point that called Bar Etna. Then you take off-road bus and moving to the second point. And from this spot you could finally take a guide and with a group reach the very top of Etna Volcano. And guess what of this transportation works when I arrived? None of them. Because of the very high winds, nothing of that I just said works. Only one thing was open, it's off-road bus that could take me to the first point of Etna volcano climbing instead of cableway. With not much other options, I take this bus to see how far it could get me to the top. I reached the first point, but there is not so much to do there, so I decided to do some hiking and go to the top of the volcano as far as I could. Hello there, I am on Itna, still, and I'm trying to reach the top in there. It's crazy windy out here, uh, I just in the not windy part, so I could film this video, but on the other parts it's so windy, just I'll show you. 
so going to stop never was the last word that i heard you say before you hung up the phone silence never thought that it would go this way with you wanting me gone i don't believe in no just last week you called me your babe and now you're letting go the way you're talking is driving me insane hello can we sit and talk this through for once before you cut off the show cause even if we're hanging by a thread by a thread and the words you said is spinning in my head after climbing for two hours, I thought, hey, what about the bus? It not looks like a public transportation and I'm not sure that it works very late. At that moment I already hiked about 3.2 kilometers to the top, so I check online what time the cableway close. Oh, so yeah, I have an internet connection on the volcano. What the amazing time to be alive. Uh, so I found out that it closed about three and a half in the winter time. And that was exactly the time I checked it. So it was a very high chance to not taking the bus to the bottom parking and I decided to go back. And during that I saw probably one of the best views in my life. I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed. Take me back into your arms and I'll never let you down, let you down. station and yes there are no buses here no people and at this moment I probably was only one person on the whole volcano and that means that I need to make all the five kilometer trip to the parking by myself and the Sun was going down too so at the same time it was amazingly beautiful and a little terrifying because Sun in the mountain just turns off when it's down and you see nothing so it's good idea to keep moving, see all the beautiful stuff around and not thinking about bad things. If we're hanging by a thread, by a thread, and the words you said is spinning in my head, in my head, I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed, take me back into your arms and I'm never
It was just about 7 pm, but the sun is set and it became completely dark. I was lucky to have a power bank with a LED light and it just saves my life. After our more incomplete darkness, I finally reached my car and sat there and just relaxed. I realized that I have not eaten anything since breakfast in the hotel, so I drive to the nearest seafood restaurant, which was in 50 kilometers. And there I have one of the best meals in my life. Maybe because I ate 10 hours ago and hiked for 15 kilometers that day. When I ordered my food, the waiter asked, did I need a wine for my food? And I said, oh, sadly, I'm driving today. He sadly answered, so only two glasses? And then I realized, I am in Italy. I go to my hotel and slept like a baby. That's all for this day. Thanks for watching. Don't miss the next day when I finally get my camper van.